Hey Jess, it's uh, it's me, Franklin. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> read on your blog that uh, you said you got herpes from Derek Jeter. Um, that's <laughs> so cute because I don't believe that for one bit. Um, I just know that you're saying you could you have herpes so we can be closer together, and I totally, totally admire that you actually want to go public with this. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, <sighs> talk to my grandma in her deathbed today, and uh, she said that her one wish is for me to find a woman. I've found you a lot of times. I've found you about 25 so far. This is a little thing that I uh, I keep with me to, re to remind me of you. Um, sometimes at night I get I get really lonely. I mean, hard to believe. And I, uh, I, I sleep with it at night because it totally reminds me of you. And it, I, I know it's just a head, but it just makes me think it's like a, like a decapitated version of you. This is, I want to show you this. Uh, this is this is a little rubber band ball that I made for you. Um, I'm gonna give it to you when I see you again, which I'm not gonna tell you to be surprised. And um, but every single rubber band like represents every day I've been in love with you. And as you can see, it's it's huge. And um, I just want I just want to be close to you. Uh, okay, speaking of close, closer. Um, yeah, I feel that you should have been in Closer the movie because Natalie Portman was horrible. But oh, Jude Law. That's what the yarn is for. It's my neighbors. They don't. Um, okay. Here it goes. <sighs> I feel you, Jessica Alba. Um, I know I've had, you know, personal history about that whole rape issue, but I don't see it as rape. I just see it as persistency, and I don't take no for an answer. I'll steal you, Jessica Alba. I'll steal you. You don't understand that I loved Into the Blue. That was probably the best piece of cin cin cinematography I've ever seen. I mean, Dark Knight, Into the Blue. How can anybody say, oh, Dark Knight was better? I feel you. Do they think that cops can hide you? Even now I'm at your window. Can you say hi to Rick for me? I mean, I love that guy. He's, it's just cute that we have to have somebody, you know, in kind of like mediates and is like the chaperone for our relationship. Because if he wasn't there, I would probably rape you. Wait. No, that's right. But you get what? Okay. I'll rape, I mean, steal you. It's just great. I mean, but I mean, that one time that you had, you know, Rick hire like a double, so then we could play like cat and mouse. Um, yeah, I feel bad for her because I could definitely tell she wasn't you and my sniper rifle. You know, she has a 34C and you had a th you have a 32, and um, yeah, you definitely shouldn't wear you know religion pants on her. She didn't look good in them. She can't pull them off like you can, especially in Sin City. That was that was great. I auditioned for the role of Yellow Bastard. Just because, again, the rape part. Oh, thank you, Franklin. I thought I brought a lot of depth to the Invisible Woman, too. I thought you were amazing. It was, that was such a great, great character development in that movie. Oh, Franklin, you're just an all-around great guy. Will you kiss me? Yeah, there's, my mom's next door. It's okay. We'll be quiet. Okay. I think that we could be one of those, like, great couples in history, like the forbidden love and the love that's going to last a lifetime. Like, I see us being Romeo and Juliet, um, Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun, and, um, what was that other one? What was that other one? Uh, Scott and Lacey Peterson.